What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Tim Reviews Everything. And guys, I hope my warehouse series part of this channel pulls through because I'm in America and I know I have a lot of people that are out of uh, country, uh, that are in different countries that I hope that could chime in on this. I'm gonna go over what it costs to play kids sports in America. And I want you to chime in in different parts of the world uh, to let me know what it costs over in your country, because I think it's just out of control in America right now. Uh, to put your kids in kids sports is just ridiculous. Guys, if you like reviews, please visit my playlist because I do carry on two subjects. I do warehouse training on this uh, channel as well. So if you are here for reviews, please visit my playlist and then scroll through the playlist for my reviews. Guys, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. So let's get on to the first slide. So I went through uh, Google, guys. Just, I just, these are all rough estimates. The average couple in America makes 70K. The average after taxes makes 50K. Here's your average mortgage, average car payment times two because you have two people in the household. So I'm sure you're paying uh, two mortgages. And here is, it's just basic monthly bills, guys, monthly expense, expenses. And I'm sure there is more than this. I am probably really lowballing this. Uh, guys, if you follow this right here, you make 70K a year, you're 50K after taxes. This is your mortgage, cable, or car insurance, all this crap. You're 15K in debt at the end of the year before your kids' sports. So keep all this in mind as we go over the rest. And guys, before we get to the kids sports, I want you to know there is a 2% chance of your kid getting a full scholarship or a partial scholarship. All right. So before you rack out all that money for your kids to play sports because you think they are the best, everyone thinks their kid's the best. There is a 98% chance that your kid is not even going to get a partial scholarship. By the time your kid plays a full amount from age whatever, 10 to age 20, 18, 19, you could have paid for that college tuition, all right? You could have played other basic sports, all right? So if like my kids in cup soccer, I could have just stuck with travel soccer and I could have stuck with school soccer and get, maybe pay for some extra classes for them, some extra programs for them to get. But no, I elected to pay cup soccer. Now we missed about four years of cup soccer because of the price of it. I just couldn't afford it guys. And we're gonna miss the last year. My daughter could play one more, she's eligible for one more year of cup soccer. And guess what? We're not playing because it just costs way too much money. It's freaking ridiculous. It is not about the kids. It's about business and it's about money. That's it, that's final. Guys, I don't care if you play football, soccer, hockey, baseball, uh, you know, dance. Dance is another one that's absolutely ridiculous. If you have your kids in any of these things and you're paying thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars a year, then you're a fool. I'm a fool because I did it for uh, quite some time. All right, guys. So I'm going to go over what it cost us basically for a year. Now, year of cup soccer, the basic fees are around $3,000. Now, they can get a lot more. All right, depending on what cup soccer team you play for. There's cup soccer teams that are 3,500 all the way up to five grand just for the basic fees. Now we get three tournaments a year. They're usually out of state, or I'm not out of state, I, within a, they're out of your area. So you're gonna have to stay in a hotel or something like that. Uh, so three tournaments a year that are away that you're gonna have to travel to probably around four or five hours and you're going to have to pay for lodging. Lodging is basically around 320 per stay. And there you go. You're 960 for your three tournaments away per year. Guys, gas is around 500, depending on the vehicle you have too. Now I have a, a vehicle that's actually really good in fuel, uh, but it, that's three tournaments driving to, that's all your practice is driving to, that's all your games driving to. So you could estimate probably even more than that, depending on what you're driving, around 500 a year. Food, guys, 2,000 is once again, family of four, probably a low estimate. Every time you go out, guys, you're eating out at least two times uh, during that uh, the soccer tournament weekends. Uh, when you go on uh, practices and games, if there's concessions there, you're buying your other kids something. So you're constantly spending money on food when you're doing these things. Other expenses, what do I mean by other expenses? I just put a thousand on there, guys, but it could be a lot more. Yeah, we go away on a tournament. Oh crap, we forgot our toothbrushes, we forgot body wash, we bought all that stuff. Uh, you know, just uh, 
you're just out shopping because you're on vacation, you're away from home, so you feel like you need to go to the mall. So you're, you know, you're just buying shit that you don't need. Uh, so other expenses come into that very easily. Now our total last year cost us right around 7K. I have this total being around 7460, and that is for one of the lower fees oriented uh, cup soccer teams around my uh, area. There is cup soccer teams that are more than this. Guys, that is just cup soccer, all right? And there is somebody at my work that pays 20,000 a year for his kid to pay, uh, play travel ice hockey. So this is just soccer, out of control. 2% guys, remember that number, 2% when you're putting your kids in these sports and you think they're gonna be something big and famous and make millions in the future, 2% chance. So guys, like I said, you're already $15,000 down on your monthly bills and now you're gonna add approximately 7,500 to sports or even more, you better find yourself a second job or start working a lot of overtime uh, because this stuff is overrated. It is big time overrated, especially here in America. Please let me know in different countries if your kids, if you're paying for your kids to play just astronomical amount of money for them to play these sports. Guys, that's it today. Short video. This is more of a rant than anything. I cannot stand this. My daughter's not playing her last year of cup soccer because it's astronomical. It's stupid. It is just ridiculous. Uh, I am working overtime at work again just to take care of all the damn inflation that's going on in America right now. I cannot afford to pay for cup soccer again. So my daughter is done. She got one more year of uh, high school soccer left, and that's it. We're done. Uh, no more cup soccer for my daughter, and I will definitely not be putting any of my kids in any type of sports anymore. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.